flour, sugar, some milk. Oh, hi guys. You know, I'm making some chocolate chip cookies, but just right now I started thinking about forgiveness. Um, I don't know why, I just, it's just on my mind. Sometimes things just pop into my head, but I was thinking about how hard it is to forgive. Like, you know, when I was younger and somebody, you know, didn't play fair and kickball at school, it was hard to forgive them sometimes. But then I started thinking about Jesus because not just other people that need forgiveness. I need forgiveness too, right? We all do. So let's, let's look at it like this. Okay, so I'm gonna roll this newspaper up. I have a newspaper. And I'm gonna pretend that this newspaper is our life, okay? So I'm gonna put the bottom because this milk is gonna be things we do wrong churchy word for that is sin, but things we do wrong. So like maybe if we're playing and we take our brother's Hot Wheel car and then we say, uh-uh, I didn't take that. So we're going to pour a little milk in it because that's something we should not do, right? Okay, a little bit in there. Okay. Um, what about if we talk back? Like our mom or grandma, dad tells us to go clean our room and oh, I don't want to clean my room. Man, eh, probably shouldn't do that. That's something kind of wrong too. Okay. Let's see, what if um, our teacher tells us to study on a test for a test and we're like, yeah, yeah, I studied. I studied really hard, but really? You were playing video games all night. You didn't even go to bed on time. Ooh, lying. That's not good. Let's see, I'm getting about half of it there. Oh gosh, you know, just things we do wrong. Can you guys think of other things that you do wrong sometimes? We don't really mean to, but we just do them, right? Think of that. That's something we do wrong. And we need to be forgiven for that. And here's the cool thing. Jesus is our friend. Yeah, I think we got enough in there now. Yep. Jesus is our friend. He's the best friend ever. He's better than any human we could ever have. And if we do something wrong and we ask Jesus to forgive us, he promises, promises us in the Bible that he will forgive us. And he says that he'll take our sin, those bad things, and he'll just remove it. He'll forget it as far as the east is from the west. Those things never touch. That means it's gone. Kind of like this milk that we put in our newspaper. It's gone. It disappeared. That's like Jesus' love and forgiveness. His love never disappears but he loves us so much that he forgives us when we ask. I am so thankful for that promise that he gave us. And here's the thing, he forgives us and he asks us to forgive others. So we need to practice that too, just like he does for us. Let's pray about that because that's kind of hard. Dear God, I just thank you so much for Jesus and for the promise that he will forgive our sins when we ask him. Lord, help us not to sin. Help us to be the best that we can be. And with you in our heart, we know we can do it. But there's going to be times that we might mess up. Thank you that we can come to you, ask for forgiveness, and you give it to us. Thank you, Jesus. And then help us when people do things wrong towards us, help us to also forgive them. Thank you, Jesus, for being our most magnificent friend. All this we pray in your name. Amen. Well, I better get back to my cookies, but don't forget, work on not doing things wrong, but if you do, who's always there for you? Jesus.
Have a good week.